Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious Mauritian sweet. Um, we call it barfi. It's also called barfi across uh, India and Asia actually. It's amazing and sweet and fudgy and delicious. Really, really easy to make. It's made with milk powder. So this is the stuff that we're using which is basically going to make the lovely sort of flavour that we need. Um, this milk powder you can get from any Asian supermarket. Don't mistake it for milk powder that you use to make your coffee with because it is completely a different product altogether. So you need to go to an Asian supermarket or a international supermarket and look for pure Indian milk powder. Um, that's what you need to be using. So we've got 200 grams of milk powder. I've got 130 grams of caster sugar. Here I've got 50 grams of ground pistachio and I'm using the hulled Turkish a variety so it's really really bright green these have been ground so they come in sort of nibs essentially um and they've been ground so i'm using 50 grams but i'm reserving just a little bit for the decoration so i'm just going to leave that to one side here i've got cardamom which is also called ilaichi and i all i want to do is open them up and get the seeds from inside and ground those seeds just for the flavor and i've got 130 mils of milk so this is what you're going to need to make it um, it's such an easy recipe, really, really delicious and perfect to give as gifts. So sweet gifts. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to show you how to make it now. So in a nice big pan, we're going to take our milk powder, put that straight in. And we're going to add our milk and our sugar. Give that a stir around. And it looks like there's not enough milk in there. But you'll see as it starts to warm, it goes quite soggy and wet. So at the moment, it's quite crumbly. But you'll see as we cook it, it will start to crumble. And then at this stage, we're going to add in our ground cardamom as well. So I'm just going to open this up and add those in. So now we're going to place this over a high heat and let this bubble away. Now, as you can see in the pan, we've just put the heat over it and the mixture is starting to kind of soften. And it's starting to kind of stick a little bit on the, on the surface of the pan. So... This is perfect, so you just have to keep moving it around and slowly but surely it's going to start to get so thick that you're going to struggle to move it, so that's really when it's cooked. So now, if you can see, it's beginning to catch on the bottom of the pan and the pan has now gone totally dry. And it's at this stage, I'm going to switch the heat off. And I'm literally just going to toss in these gorgeous pistachios and let those be mixed all the way through. It transfers the colour from a lovely kind of milky colour to a gorgeous green. And this is cooked now, so we're going to take this off the heat and we're going to now put them into lovely moulds. So I'm just going to show you how we do that. So this has now been taken off the heat and as it starts to cool, it's going to start to set quite quickly. So as you can see, it's quite a thick kind of creamy lump at the moment, best way to describe it. But all we're going to do is use these moulds. So I've got these lovely sort of round moulds. Just going to place them here 
and I'm just going to take a spoonful of the mixture and place it straight into the mould so that they're all equal. Okay, so that's all done and from that mixture I've managed to make uh, 12 of these lovely domed uh, barfi pistachio flavour. All we're now going to do is just let these cool completely, so around two hours in the fridge, so that they completely cool down. And then afterwards I'm going to show you how I decorate them. So the barfi is now cold and we're just going to take these out individually and just place them onto the table. So I've just got a piping bag and I've got some white chocolate here that I've just melted and I'm just going to pop this straight into here. Let me just show you how I do that. So open up the bag. That's it. Close the bag up. And there, all the white chocolate is down there. So now what I'm going to do is just drizzle over some nice lines. Just like that. And a different design for these ones. Then I had the pistachio that was left over and I'm literally just going to take a small amount on each one. And for those ones I'm probably going to just use some of the nibs. straight onto a plate so I've got a lovely black serving plate here like I said this is a perfect gift so I've got a lovely gift box here just like this and you can place them straight in there and gift them throughout the year